Hi, my name is Tim Burdine. I'm the division manager over water maintenance. Um, this is our wet lab training facility. We kind of wanted to bring in and show you how we train our new hires on their probationary period to kind of get them prepared for what's about to take place in the field. Um, I'm going to actually go over and walk you through some of the situations we're going to be doing today. So let's go. The first task they're going to be doing is basically taking this corpse stop, knocking it off at the, at the tap saddle. This is an actual tap saddle that's on a water main. They're going to actually knock this thing off and go inside to take the old threads out, then replace it with a brand new corpse stop in which they'll get the water stop, and then they're going to simulate a service renewal, which they'll actually come over here to this is what we call a yoke setup. They're going to tie a piece of copper in, get water to this yoke setup, Water meter sets down in here, and this is where our customer meters are set. So I have the guys show you how this task is done. Now he's installing the water meter so he can get water to the service, back to the resident customer. So what he just did, he took and bleeded some air out of the line so we don't send it into the customer's uh, residence. So that's, that's common practice for us. Once we get the meter back in, then he'll have water ready to the service. The next task we'll do is show you how we replace this six inch wraparound or repair clamp. When we have a split in the pipe or a hole in the pipe that's a small hole, we use these to kind of like a band-aid. And this is an easy method to use. We actually use it on four inch, six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, sometimes 12 inch pipe. So now I'll have the guy show you how it's done. So what we're doing now is charging the pipe. You'll see water start shooting out of the pipe which simulates a mainline break. Um, ultimately, we get holes in the pipe or a beam break around it. And this is where we can use our repair clamp, which is which what we call a wraparound, to make the repair.
And as you see, he's starting from the side of the pipe because if you try to put the repair clamp directly on top of the brake, it's gonna be hard to fight that. So we usually try to start out to the side and slide it over. And as you see, the water is evenly spraying out of both sides of the pipe, which kind of tells us that it's centered. So before we go to the next task, I kind of wanted to explain why this saddle is placed at a 45 degree angle versus this saddle over here that's placed at a 90 degree angle. The reason for that is with this saddle, this is for our residential taps. And as you see at the 45 degree angle, the top of the pipe, this is where your air is gonna go anytime you get it in the system. So to avoid having air go to the customer service tap, we place the, the saddles at a 45 degree angle. With the saddle over here at the 90 degree angle, as you see, it's perfectly on top of the pipe because your air is going to rise to the top of the pipe, which up at the top is an air valve, it's an air relief valve. This is where your air is going to be discharged. So the next station we have is where we use our two inch repair clamps. Um, the guys are going to demonstrate how we use a coupling clamp and how we use a regular repair clamp in situations that we run in with smaller lines in the system. So now we'll have the guys show you how that, that scenario is done. So as our final task, we're gonna show you our training tub. This is kind of something that we introduced not too long ago. We wanted to place our new hire employees in a controlled environment, simulating what they'll see every day in ditches, trenches, and it's been a great training tool. We're proud of it, the guys love it. So now we have the guys kind of show you how it's done. But first, let's look inside and you'll see it's kind of the same setup as our two inch galvanized pipe. Over here, you have a pinhole in the pipe, which we'll put a repair clamp on and then you're gonna have a coupling leaking, which is in the center of the pipe, and they'll show you how to put the coupling clamp on. So we'll let the guys show you how it's done. So as you see, we've got the water in the training tub actually bubbling with two, a piece of galvanized pipe at the bottom, some two inch. There are two repairs to be made in this water. So he's gonna start with the first repair, which is the coupling clamp. And then we'll move into the regular clamp and kind of ease into it as we go. Yeah, as you see, they're in a live situation, almost waist deep in water. This kind of simulates our normal trenches and ditches that we see out in the field. So we wanted to put them in a controlled environment where it's safe and kind of gauge them where they're at during their probation and get them prepared for the field. So. And as you see, sometimes we're in situations where we put our pumps in the water and they can't keep up. So we're waist deep working on this stuff sometimes. And as you can see, it's a pretty difficult task in clear water. So just imagine being out in the mud and, and wet weather.
So as you see, this is some of the ideal situations we face out in the field every day. Um, it could be middle of the night, two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, our staff's out making these repairs, just so we can make sure that we keep the water flowing to the residents of Asheville. So I wanna thank you for hanging out with us in our wet lab and you can feel free to come check it out sometime. <laughs>